Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In this episode, we continue training and mentoring the Manchester University Wasp team as we take on two Eastern Yellow Jacket ground nests simultaneously. This is Vespula maculifrons, one of the most aggressive species that we deal with here in the Midwest of the USA and North America. They're a native species, they're beneficial, but as you can see here, they attack in force and it doesn't take much to set them off. These wasps are famous for latching on with their mandibles, that's their mouth parts, and stinging repeatedly. In human skin, they can sting you many, many times, over and over again. These two nests were located only 30 or 40 feet apart. There were next door neighbors, and each of the neighbors had one of these nests in the ground, right in front of their home, where they had to walk by the nest to get in and out of the house. One neighbor had already been stung while he was trying to do some landscaping. As you see here, the first nest was located underneath one of the landscaping stones. So we had to remove that heavy stone and then we were able to access the nest. Once we dig up the brood comb, we contain it in a transport container that we can bring back to our vespiary where we can raise the entire brood until they hatch out as adult wasps. We also capture the queen, as you see here. And this is helpful because when we have a nest in incubation, if the queen is with that nest, it functions more normally and it does better in incubation. And the point of any incubation for these nests is to get as many live wasps out of that nest as possible so we can use them for venom immunotherapy, which is what we do with all of the yellow jacket wasps that we collect. Once we had the first nest contained, we moved on to the second nest here at the next door neighbor's property. What you see here is a very careful excavation of the brood comb. And as you see, these wasps, again, very aggressive, attacking our gloves, attacking our suits. It is absolutely mandatory to wear full bee suits and a couple layers of gloves when you're going to deal with this species. They are just defensive and aggressive, and they can be dangerous. Once we had the second nest contained, we started looking for the queen, and here we're finding her inside the bin, which is always great. We had her contained. Now we had both nests, both queens, and we'd already collected several bottles of flying adult wasps that were foragers or attackers that came out to defend the nest. We'll show you how we take the flying wasps that we collect and we freeze them in frozen CO2. It's a flash freezing process in dry ice and instantly preserves their venom at the highest quality for venom immunotherapy use. Then we take the brood comb that you see here back to the lab and we move those into an incubation box and we collect thousands more wasps from these brood combs as they hatch out as adult wasps. To view the complete episode, click on the link in the description.